Hey Fran, I'm Arbazi. Welcome back to some more XCOM enemy within the long war. So, let's continue where we left off. There's not a lot to do right now. I still need to wait 9 days for the generator. And I need to wait 9 days for my research. Two scientists, yes. I need exactly that right now. I need 19 scientists to be able to build another laboratory. And with these two, I got 17 now. All my interceptors are being repaired, so... It wasn't possible to intercept that. Okay, now I have one interceptor. I don't think I can shoot this down with one interceptor, but... That's just a small scout. So maybe it will work. I just need to hit it twice. Oh, okay, that actually worked. And we got the UFO crash site. Okay, nice one. Quite happy with that. So this is going to be a good training mission for some of our less experienced soldiers. I might still bring Bella. Oh no, she's fatigued. Never mind that then. Who do we want to bring? I will bring Zhang. He didn't see any action recently. Who's going to be our commanding officer? Conrad can be our commanding officer. What else? I'm going to need a medic or something, so this guy can come. I'm just bringing a less experienced squad. This is a perfect training mission for them. So, five hit points scout. Yep. We got a scout, we got infantry, gunner, medic. We could use an assault. So, how many assaults do we actually have? Only two assaults right now, okay. So, she can come. That's two more slots. I want to bring at least one rookie. So, yeah, only three hit points. I really don't like rookies with only three hit points. Okay, he can come. One more slot. Rocketeer, maybe? I need extra experience on my rocketeers. So that's not a terrible idea. Alright, let's bring this guy then. Okay, this is a decent squad then. Now I need to give them proper gear. Let's check them out one by one then. So, laser rifle for you. Shotgun. And flashbang grenade. Where's the medic? Oh yeah, medic is next. So, he's going to need... Probably two medkits. Or well, I don't think I need two medkits. That's a bit of an overkill. For a small scout crash site. He can grab a flashbang grenade. Next up we got Zhang. So, laser rifle for you. And shotgun, laser sight, and flashbang grenade. I'll give one extra medkit to someone. One of the rookies, perhaps? Well, no, he's going to need a laser sight. What about her? She could grab a medkit. Yeah, she can keep the medkit and grab one flashbang grenade. That seems reasonable. I don't need that many flashbang grenades for this mission. Okay, this guy, he needs a Gatling laser. Other than that, this is fine. And the rookie. Proper weapon. Laser pistol, I suppose, in case he runs out of ammo or something. Flashbang grenade. And... AP grenade. For some easy kills. Yeah, sure, he can keep that. That's always granted damage. Or maybe not. If I want to keep him alive, ceramic plating might be more useful. Right. I should make better versions of the plating, but I'm a little bit low on money. One final look. Just to make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. We have the med kits. We have flashbang grenades. Everyone has a proper weapon. Or almost everyone. Yeah, this guy needs a proper weapon. Okay, now we're ready. Let's go then. So, I assume this mission will have some mutants. Or at least there's a possibility that it will have mutants. We'll find out. Would be nice to get some meld. Alright, let's get started. I don't want to move too much. I want to know what kind of aliens I'll have to deal with first. No sniper here. So... Everyone is going to move together. Where's the gunner? Oh yeah, I already moved the gunner, right. That's this guy. I'll just position him here. 
just in case we'll run into some patrol on the first turn. And he can't move and still fire, so... Right, let's keep moving. You can go here. And our medic. And everyone will use Overwatch. So what kinds of aliens do we have here? Oh, that's a patch already. Seekers. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. Nice hit there. Can we kill that? Before it goes invisible? Come on. Don't disappoint me. You disappointed me. Target yes, the target remains. Oh well. We'll kill them when they attack someone or something. But now I should probably just use Overwatch on everyone. I'm still going to move a little bit, but not too much. I don't want to trigger extra aliens right, right now. Solid copy. So like this, just spread out a tiny little bit. Yeah, this is enough. Here they come. That's the first one. And it will go down immediately. But that used all of my reaction shots. <laughs> Which means I won't be able to hit the other one. Shame I didn't kill the first one. The when they first triggered. Oh no, one reaction shot. But not quite good enough. Free damage reduction. Yeah, they have a lot of damage reduction. Well, it will go down regardless. I can hit some floaters. I don't think I had any mutants. Right, who's going to get the kill? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. That's not a kill, wow, yeah, free damage reduction is a little bit harsh, don't you think? Who wants the kill? Zhang can grab the kill. Was he close to a promotion? I don't remember. Bye. Out of ammo here. Enemy destroyed. He's already out of ammo. <laughs> yeah, let's keep moving. I might be able to grab some meld if I hurry up still. Would be nice. Meld is always money, but I also need meld for some projects. I want to get started on that project that gives you more alien alloys from missions. That's even more important than weapon fragments. But we'll see, that was an expensive one. And I'll need to build a laboratory as soon as my thermal generator is done. I'm going to need like hundreds of credits this month. Okay, there's a meld container over there. That's a UFO. No, I can't see it yet. Do we heal that one hit point? Probably. What's that anyway? Oh yeah, that's the scout. On the move. She might be fine, but it's safer to just heal it. In the end, this is just a small scout crash site. Yeah, let's just heal it. Play it safe. You never know when that one hit point will make a difference. Between getting killed and surviving with one hit point. I already had quite a few cases of my soldiers surviving with one hit point in this game. But enough talk, let's keep moving. Can I see the UFO yet? No, not yet. I know there's a melt container this way. So I want to grab that. Reload, and that leaves us with the gunner. I can position him somewhere around here. This looks reasonable. So, I don't think this mission has any dangerous alien types. I can't hear any mutants. I can hear more floaters. Yeah, I can hear some floaters. But I don't think I heard any mutants. That's good. I don't really want to deal with mutants right now. Or not yet. I would like to get better armor before I have to start fighting mutants regularly. And that's what I'm researching right now, advanced body armor. I would like to finish that before we start getting mutants regularly in every single mission. That will probably start happening next month. But let's keep moving. Two more people. Zhang. Let's check this area too. Just so that we don't get flanked or something like that. Alright, overwatch and hunker down. Not much else the gunner can do. He can't steady weapon. He can't overwatch after moving. So all he can do is skip the turn. Or reload when he's not on full ammo. So where's that melt container? Can we see it yet? 
Okay, there's some cover over here. This is the assault. Okay, there's the UFO. Do I want to trigger the outsider right now? Probably not, but there might be some aliens inside the UFO other than the outsider. That was the case in one of my previous missions. So let's position ourselves properly. Well, first of all, the gunner. He can stay here. That should give me line of sight on almost anything. I'm on the move. And we still got a rocketeer. Got it. Yeah, he needs to move as close as possible. I've not been using rockets a lot in this game so far, but they are not as reliable as they were in vanilla. But still, I'll try to use them more. Problem is, I don't even have that many Rocketeers. Right now, I only have two Rocketeers, and they aren't very experienced. Which is the reason I brought this guy here. He needs more experience. Okay, Floaters. That's good, I didn't trigger the Outsider yet. So I can deal with the Floaters, and then deal with the Outsider. Shouldn't be too hard. I must last words. So, Gunner first. I need to kill these two. Because otherwise, they will be able to flank me. That's one down already. That's a good start. I could maybe run and gun. And run a little bit closer. To get a higher chance to hit. But if I run over here, I risk triggering another group. I don't necessarily want to do that. Zang can fire twice with 51%. So that might work, no? Anyone else? Who else? Hmm, I can take a shot with this guy, if I move closer, right here, okay, that works, let's try that, that's 38% chance to hit, kind of low, okay, that's a miss, unfortunately, I'm not sure if I can kill that floater right now, I can use running gun, but that seems a little bit risky, and this is not going to be 100%, it will probably be around 50-60% from over here. I could also run all the way here. I don't know, this seems a little bit risky. I'm not too excited about doing that. I might just use Overwatch or something. I don't think he can flank anyone. Yes, he can flank these people. Hmm. I'm a little bit... Undecided about this. Okay, screw it. Let's use running gun. I hope I'm not going to regret this. I'll use the safer option and dash to this location. I could dash all the way here, but then if I trigger the outsider, the outsider would be able to flank my assault. And that would be really bad. I don't think I have to say why. So 52%. Yeah, I knew it's going to be around 50%. Nope, I missed. Great. Oh well. I can't kill that floater. I can't use flashbang either, because it's in the air. That flashbang definitely won't hit it. I'll try to move a little bit closer. I can use overwatch. That's probably the best idea, especially since Zhang has opportunist. So he's not getting penalties. And if that floater moves a little bit closer, my other soldier in the back might also get a reaction shot. Okay, no, he just tried to hit me from there. But I had one more soldier in the back. With Overwatch. Yep, that's her. Is that a rookie? Yeah, I think that's a rookie. I'll get him next time. Yes, I'm sure you will get him next time. Now I need to kill both. So, gunner first, because that's holo targeting. 59, 49. Let's do the 59, and that's a kill. Good start. One more floater. My assault could use the experience. So 52%? That's your chance. No? Nope. You blew it. I'll get him next time. No, there won't be next time, sorry. Come on, Zhang, that's your experience floating in the air. I, need additional ammo. I guess he hates experience. I'm sure that's it. Yeah, I need to make sure that I can actually kill that floater. I can't really afford to mess around with this. But these aren't amazing odds, not really. Okay, I can see it from down here. 37. I only did one hit. There we go. That worked. I had two more shots after this. So reload everything. And move a little bit closer with this guy. Now we can deal with the outsider. 
This group took a while to kill. Oh, okay. Did I trigger the outsider? No, that's just a sectoid patrol. All right. Hey, this is perfect. I can kill these aliens without having to fight the outsider at the same time. That's like the best case scenario possible. And okay, holo targeting is up. Now kill, but Conrad already got some really nice kills. Okay, this is obviously not going to hit. What else can we do? Come on, Zhang. That's a sectoid for you to kill. That's your experience down there. You see it. Okay, he stopped hating experience. It is down. Now I need to move out of the way. The and maybe take a shot with the rookie. This is the rookie? Yeah, that's the rookie. So, come on. The rookie will probably get promoted regardless. But that was his chance to get a kill. Okay, I guess we'll just use Overwatch. I can't do much else. I can move a little bit closer. One sector is not exactly dangerous. Yeah, okay, Overwatch. Is that going to be like the last group? Before the outsider? I think so. We'll find out. Missed. Come on. Adjusting aim. They all adjust the aim after they take a shot. Maybe they should do it before. Alright, I can actually flank that sectoid right now. I think. Yeah, this is going to be a flanking shot. Yep. Still only 68% now. And that's a miss, really. I should have used the grenade or something. Let's try the gunner. I should have used the gunner first because that's holo targeting. Oh well, we can fix that now. Let's see now. Zhang, that's my experience for you. Actually, I shouldn't have moved there. He's down. Okay, now we can deal with the outsider. Unless we get yet another patrol on the next turn. <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. But I'll reload everything, overwatch properly. I can move a little bit closer. I don't want to use explosives too much though. Because I don't want to blow up flight computers and things like that. I can move closer with my assault. And then use good old fashioned shotgun in the face tactic. That always works. So reload, 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 overwatch. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last alien. I can't hear any more patrols. So let's move closer with the assault without triggering the alien just yet. I could also move closer with someone else, someone with flashbang grenades. So she could move closer. Yeah, sure. She does have a flashbang grenade. So that works. And everyone else will stay in the back. I don't think I want to change these positions. No, this looks good to me. So, come on. Yes, I know there's an alien inside. Hi! I've got a visual. There he is. Yes, move closer. I do have a running gun, so that's not going to save him. Can my gunner see him? No, he can't. Okay, that was a little bit unfortunate. So, 46% twice with Zhang. Let's try that. I can always throw a flashbang grenade. Flashbang grenade is pretty good against outsiders. And I mean, flashbang grenade is good against pretty much everything. Or almost everything. Two misses in a row. Not fantastic. I think it's time for a flashbang grenade. And we need to reposition Conrad drastically. Yeah, that's not quite good enough. Okay, flashbang. And then I can still use another flashbang on the next turn if I want to. I have like several more flashbangs still. I can try to take a shot. Yeah, sure. 35%. Nope. It was worth a try. And I could move closer with the rookie. Which is not a terrible idea. So anything else? That's the medic. So he can move a little bit closer still. And that's infantry. This looks reasonable. I need some location with cover. Yeah, this looks good enough. And we have line of sight. Alright then. So the outsider is disoriented. 
That's minus 50% aim. Minus 50% movement. He couldn't do a whole lot. Now, do I have follow targeting on the scout? No, I don't. And Conrad can't see the outsider now. Let's try to hit once or twice before I run in with the assault. So that's a miss already. Let's see now. I can take two shots with the... No, one shot with this guy. That's a rocketeer, not infantry. Still missed. Come on, guys. Stop missing. What am I paying you for? Not for missing, that's for sure. Another flashbang grenade? That seems sadly excessive. But Conrad can't see anything from here. I need to get him in firing position. Okay, that's better. Alright, well, I guess we'll use another flashbang grenade. I'm okay with that. I'm not in a rush. And I'm pretty sure this is the last alien in here. Okay, then. So... Where can I go? Right here. And yeah, Richard has yet another flashbang grenade. In case I'll need it. Oh, there's no cover left over here. I should probably move. That looks more reasonable. 31% chance to hit. That's actually pretty decent. Nope. Missed again. Okay. Yes, let's begin. We began a while back, if you didn't notice. Okay, surely now I can kill that guy. Let's get holo targeting up first. There we go. That's a nice hit too. Okay, rip. I don't even need running gun anymore. This is easily going to be a kill. Rip. And she got a promotion. Perfect. Eight aliens killed. And we got some promotions. That should be at least three promotions. Four promotions. Nice one. So let's have a look then. We got Flash, Close Combat Specialist, or Steadfast. I do like Close Combat Specialist a lot in Assaults. So that's what I'm going for. Our rookie is going to be support. I got several medics already. Let's grab a grenadier, or engineer, I mean. Next up, we got this guy. He's a medic, so smoke grenade. Sounds good. And one last person. That's going to be probably holo targeting. I do like having holo targeting on scouts. Alright, that was a pretty good mission. What did we get? We got a damaged flight computer, damaged power source. That should be worth quite a bit of money. Okay, 60 credits. That's 157. Can I start the foundry project for extra alien alloys? Yes, I could do that. That would cost me 60 meld and 180 credits, but it might be worth doing right now. I'm going to need alien alloys for a lot of things, including armor. But anyway, this part is done now, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.